Hi and welcome to Film Night. Today we have probably the most well-known surrealist film ever produced, the 1929 Ancien Andalou, directed by Luis Buñuel and co-written with another Spaniard, another Spanish uh, surrealist artist, Salvador Dali. Ancien Andalou is a reference in popular culture around the world. It's mentioned in songs, books, other films, and it became the cinematic way of representing surrealism. When Louis Buñuel screened the film for the first time in 1929, he decided to use a, com a combination of different records, uh, which he played himself uh, on a gramophone. Uh, and later, in 1960, when he re-released the film, now with sound, uh, for the soundtrack he chose some pieces of music that were based on the recollections he had from that first selection, uh, which included uh, um, Wagner and two tangos. But this is surrealist film, which means that it allows you, it gives you plenty of room to experiment with different sounds and soundtracks. For that reason, we decided to invite Dee Byrne, one of UK's uh, most interesting saxophone players and experimental musicians. So I'm really excited to see how the music by D. Byrne and Ancien de Lou will marry together. I hope you enjoy. See you all very soon. Hi, I'm D. Byrne and uh, thanks to NQ Jazz for asking me to do the soundtrack to this 1928 surrealist movie Ancien de Lou. Um, and this f movie was by Salvador Dali and Louis Bunuel. Um, and yeah, it was groundbreaking at the time because it dispensed with kind of normal things you'd expect uh, from a movie, which would be sort of narrative structure and uh, like character development and that kind of thing. And instead it's based on, um, solely based on their dreams. So weird things that happen in their dreams. And uh, believe me, a lot of weird things happen in this very short movie. Um, and some quite disturbing things actually, so quite disturbing imagery um, and uh, these these sort of uh, episodes, they follow each other haphazardly without seemingly any logic and uh, do evoke, uh, have in me anyway, evokes quite a lot of different emotions. Um, doing the soundtrack was very interesting um, as, uh, yeah, I, what I did is I just did a did a whole take, I did a few different takes and I used my effects. And what I tried to do is, um, in the mix, I've basically taken my acoustic sax sound very far to the background. So what we were left with is, um, yeah, much more of just the effects that I was creating. And I did this to sort of um, amplify the dreamlike quality and a sort of abstract quality of this whole movie. So I'm hoping that, um, yeah, that, that works. And um, yeah, so, uh, the film kind of grew on me uh, while watching it and um, I, th I think it's actually a really really interesting movie so I hope you enjoy um, going delving into that very surreal world and I uh, hope you enjoy my soundtrack as well thanks very much Bye-bye.